What's up everybody? I am a random package and this is pixel hinting in Photoshop. Alright, today we're going to take a look at recreating some icons. Uh, obviously, that's what I love to do. And what we're going to do today is show you how to make those things pixel perfect after recreating them in Illustrator. So go ahead and grab your reference artwork. I'm going to be using the Ingress icon because of its smooth straight lines. Go ahead and get your artwork centered up and lock her down. Okay, so what we're going to do here real fast is just trace over the logo and pull out the white glyph from the logo. So, grab your pen tool by tapping P on your keyboard or going and grabbing it in your tool palette. And find the center of your artboard with your smart guide. Now, if you don't have smart guides turned on, they can be found in view. Smart guides, bam, right there. Or you can just tap Control or Command U. And we're going to go around the outside. Now, when I'm doing these straight lines, uh, I'm holding down Shift to make sure that they snap perfectly. It looks like we're going to have to nudge those over with the direct selection tool, uh, but that will just take a sec. So open up your stroke window and make sure that the stroke uh, is aligned to the inside. And let's give it a color here so we can see. Probably be like. Okay, 95, and go ahead and get back to your selection tool. Okay, now real quick, let's just do these right here. Grab the pen tool and lock down the stroke we just made, and find the center. Click, hold shift, and bam. Grab our move tool real quick, switch back to the pen tool, close off that path. Oops. I know there's a uh, keyboard command for that, but I forgot what it was to close off a path. I'll have to look that up real quick and put that in the description. Okay, now that we've got those handled, switch back to your move tool. Go ahead and select all these by holding down shift and clicking on them. And go to object, expand, and turn them into fill path. Okay, and also do unlock the first shape we made. And object, expand, appearance, object, expand. Now select all of them, open up the Pathfinder window, and unite. Cool. Now that's done, let's grab this guy real quick. Just consider this a little refresher on the pen tool and Pathfinder window. Uh, any mistakes we make with pixels inside uh, Illustrator will be handled with Photoshop. So. Let's go ahead and do that. And open your oh, transparency window and drop it a little bit so we can see what we're working with here. And grab your pen tool and create this shape. Hold down shift on those uh, straight lines. This new shape selected, go ahead and hit Control or Command C, and then Control or Command F to paste it in front, and then move it down here, and we're going to rotate it. Get it nice and lined up.
way longer than it should. Okay. Let's zoom. Okay. Alright, looks good to me. Now reselect and down alt and click right on the center of that right there click the preview it's good to me hit copy switch back to the move tool by tapping V and hold down shift and use your arrow keys to nudge this guy over here and select all those with control or command held down, tap G to group them. Unlock the triangle. And with the group of triangles uh, still selected, hold down shift and select the other triangle. Make sure that the group is on top of the path. And go to your pathfinder window and go minus front. Bam. Cool. Now with that selected, go back to your transparency panel and bring it back up. Now select both of these paths. Group them together. Control Command 7. Never mind, 8. Control 8. Compound path. Okay. Now, Control Copy. Or Control C to copy, sorry. And let's move it into Photoshop. Now hit Control or Command V to paste. And in this little window, make sure you select shape layer. Now it's pretty large, so I'm going to hold control and tap T, and then still holding control, tap zero, and scale this bad boy down, way down. the size you want. Now before we move into the pixel hinting, you, uh, one thing you need to know is you have to make sure uh, you get it to the size you want before pixel hinting, otherwise you're going to have to do what we're about to do twice. So let's scale it down for this. I've been using about um, at least 72 pixels height, so we'll go about right there. Hold down control, tap a to select everything, tap V to get to the move tool, and just center that logo in case it's not, but it is. Control D to deselect. And look how it's all blurry. See how that blur? That's what we're talking about here. So we gotta get it zoomed way in. And I'm doing that by holding down control and tapping the plus and minus keys. If you're on a Mac, you can uh, hold down command and uh, do the same thing. I assume. Okay, so go ahead and uh, grab the direct selection tool. It's probably hidden underneath your path selection tool. So go ahead and hover or, and uh, long click on that and select the direct selection tool. Now, <clears throat> you can see where these pixels haven't quite taken up, or this path hasn't quite taken up full pixels. So what we're going to do is we're going to get these points selected and make sure that we have all these even and this looks to be about three wide at most and we've got three solid pixels so we'll bring these two guys in Punch them over with the arrow or with the arrow pad on your keyboard and I'm holding down shift to select multiple points I'll grab this guy and we'll bring him down one, or two, or three, three, okay. See how uh, quick that was? That is pixel hinting at its finest, and that's where you get your pixel perfection. So let's go ahead and make, see this is three wide, and we're gonna, we're gonna stay with, uh, we're gonna stick with three wide, so let's bring this in, bring it in.
only select that one and bring him over all the way. Okay, now we're now we're cooking with fire. So basically that is the gist of it. You go back and forth checking everything. Oops, where did everything go? There it is. Ah, uh, that guy didn't get selected. Okay. Pat that down. I'm gonna bring these guys up. That doesn't look right, so we'll bring it down. Oops. Don't hold shift while you're doing this. Just use your arrow keys. Alright. One, two, three across, and three across solid, so... Take that there. Sorry guys, I'm trying to make this quick. I just want you to see what it looks like when you're finished compared to what it looked like when it was all blurry. Uh, you probably got a pretty good idea, but it uh, actually might blow your mind how how much how worth it it is to sit here and make sure each one of these points is right where it needs to be. It's very, very worth it. And remember, hold down shift when selecting multiple points. This is the last line we need to worry about. I'm gonna zoom out. And look at how nice that looks. That just looks so much better. See now, see there's no blur. The only blur you're gonna see is on an angled line, and uh, the angled lines uh, they need those. Uh, basically, there's nothing we can do about that. We want to leave those alone. So you want to make sure that each each straight line is nice and crisp. And that is that is pixel hinting, and that is why I do uh, each icon uh, brand new each and every time. Of course, I don't. I don't redraw them, obviously, each and every time, but I do pixel hint in Photoshop. It looks looks like these side ones are a little bit skinnier than these right here. So what I'll do is I'll zoom back in. And we'll make this, uh, make these ones go all the way. Grab them a pixel. Give them an extra pixel right here in the middle. Much better, much cleaner.